What's up YouTube? It's your girl Takia Denise and today I am coming to y'all with a how did I become a influencer and model. We're gonna start off with the fact that I actually decided to, decided to start on my Instagram channel. So it all started with Instagram, okay? It all started with Instagram. <laughs> and I was working at a job called Dress Farm. So with Dress Barn, I was actually just the stylist. I was styling a lot of the customers. Pretty much get them an entire outfit all together. But I decided that I wanted to put my whole wardrobe out there on Instagram. So <laughs> it actually started with me tagging Sheen. I would tag Sheen like all the time on my social media pages, mainly my Instagram. But I would definitely always tag Sheen. And so the more I tagged them, I think it was like the start of their, you know, business. I'm not exactly sure. Cause I don't even remember when they got popping, but it was like from the start to the beginning. I mean, not the beginning, but the middle. And I would tag them all the time. And they had around like maybe 300,000, 500,000 followers at that time. And so they decided they wanted to post one of the pictures that I created, which I'm going to insert either here or there, wherever I'm going to insert it. And at that time when I was doing my whole wardrobe on Instagram, I literally had no face whatsoever in it. <laughs> like no face was in any of my content. And I would just show only the body and the outfits. And they posted it on their Instagram page and I just couldn't believe it. I was so shocked. And that's when actually when they posted it, I had got an email and they were like, they wanted to work with me. And you know how many times I freaking sent them an email like over a million times and never got an answer back. Or they would say, oh, at that time, you don't have the amount of followers or engagement that we needed. So to see that they emailed me and posted my stuff, it was like, oh my gosh. It was definitely a surreal moment at that time. They were my first brand that actually wanted to work with me and that was my first collaboration. So I was super excited for that. Then after that happened, that's when, because I was getting posted so much from Sheen, I was getting likes, I was getting followers. All my engagement was literally going up like crazy and more brands were starting to notice what I was bringing to my Instagram page. And then that's when also because I had so many more followers, everybody wanted to see my face. They were like, oh my God, we want to see your face. We want to see the whole thing. Why are you not showing your face? <laughs> it was it was funny. It was funny. Now, it wasn't that I wasn't showing my face on purpose. It was actually because it was a lot easier for me to just post different outfits every day without having to put on makeup. So that was the whole thing. It was just me being lazy. <laughs> But yeah, so I had decided to show my face. Um, I don't even remember what post that was, but if I find it, I'm gonna post it over here. And so that was the first picture where I've ever showed my face. And everybody was like, oh my gosh, you're so pretty. Like you need to show your face more and all this stuff. And now coming to today, like which is a whole 360, it's freaking major. And I'm showing my face all the time. I'm doing more makeup. Like I've been getting a lot better with my makeup and all of that stuff. And I've been learning more about my poses and what works for my body type. Cause that's exactly what you wanna do. You wanna make sure when you are starting to be an influencer that you're getting your angles correctly, that you're getting your lightings correctly and that you're getting all of your editing tools. And you don't have to spend a bunch because at the end of the day, I am a influencer on a budget and I live that life daily, okay? <laughs> I do not get all these expensive tools. I really don't. I get all of my stuff for free now. So it's definitely not expensive on my end. But um, I get a lot of on budget items and everything I do is on my phone. I don't use, like I do use a camera, but here and there, and I don't use it all the time. Most of my images, like all of my images that got into magazines, blogging sites, and popular Instagram pages are all on my phone. And it's like, at the end of the day, I do it all on my phone because you have to take it off the, com not the computer, but you have to take it off of the camera anyways. So it's like, if I have to take it off the camera that's doing extra work, why not just do it on my phone? 
I can travel with my phone. It's small. I can put it in my pocket. We're good to go. So yeah, that's pretty much the start of how I became an influencer. So I know a lot of people are really interested in like how I started getting brand deals. And the main thing with getting paid brand deals is making sure you are bringing something to that brand because these brands are going to want to know what can you bring to them. They're going to ask you for your numbers. They're going to ask you for all types of engagement, where your followers are from, what genders do you have the most of? Because if you are a female, you need female on your page. Okay, you need females on your page. You need that to be the highest ratio on your Instagram page, any social media actually. And then if you're a male, you need more male followers. So you gotta make sure that you are bringing the numbers because that's gonna be the main thing that brands are looking for in order to work with you guys. So with that being said, I'm not gonna speak too much on how much on all of those details because I am going to make a part two. Well, not next. It's not going to be necessarily a part two. It's just going to be a second video speaking more details on how you guys can become an influencer. But I definitely just wanted to speak more on my story because I've been asked a lot. So, but I will give you this to make sure, like I said, your numbers, you want to make sure you have high quality images. And you want to make sure that you have a high conversion rate because a lot of people don't understand what the conversion rate is and why they need it but the conversion rate pretty much is you bringing sales to the brand and if you can't bring sales to the brand then the brand is going to wonder well where did you get these followers from where did you get the engagement from why aren't you bringing what you need to bring to our brand now it's not going to be the case every single time because some brands like most brands they know that if they want to provide you with money and all this stuff and with items, they know that it could be a hit or miss. So you don't have to necessarily worry about that all the time. But with your followers and your fan base, you really want to make sure that your conversion rate is what you're bringing to the table. Because if you're not really bringing much of a conversion rate, then it doesn't matter how many followers you have because that brand wants to make sales. So you want to make sure you can make sales for that brand. Um, and next I would say, like I said, your high quality images because your images are what brings the attention of the brands. So if the brands is looking at your page and you're not showing that high quality images, you're not showing what they want in their brand, they're not going to choose you. They're not going to want to work with you. So work on your images, make sure they're high quality. And what I mainly tell people is to go on your favorite brand's page or go on your favorite influencer page and you pay attention to the images that they are putting on their Instagram accounts, any social media account, you want to pay attention to that. And then you want to pretty much make similar content. So make similar content because that content can be reposted on their page, which will bring you more followers, more engagement, and you're just gonna have more eyes on you in general from even brands, other brands that that brand is following. So you just wanna make sure that those are your top three for your YouTube, I mean, yeah, for your YouTube, for your Instagram, for your Facebook, all of that. So you just wanna make sure you have all three of those and that you're bringing the right content for your page. Um, so, I mean, other than that, like that's about it for my story because my story is pretty short, but I did go through a lot. I did have to research a lot about what I wanted to bring. When I tell you guys I have notebooks after notebooks on my research, that's exactly what I've been doing the entire time of being an influencer. So it's been a lot of work. I started being an influencer about what, 2018. So it's been a couple years. It's been a couple years of doing this and learning. I've been learning so much from doing this and I didn't even expect a modeling career out of this to be honest with you guys. So for me to just start posting my wardrobe and then getting these brands to notice me and them wanting to work with me on their own terms and then getting into magazines has been extremely crazy and i am so grateful 
to be able to do this and to help you guys do this as well because I know that you guys want to get started and you guys want to make this money and me when I first started that's how I was too I wanted to make this money I wanted to get myself out there and I just really wanted to see where it was going and now here I am working full-time as an influencer and a model and I currently just got accepted to Dubai Fashion Week so I'm super excited for that and that's going to be happening in March so if any of you guys want to come I will be dropping the link below so that you guys can get yourself a ticket and see me in Dubai so I can't wait I will have some more videos coming soon thank you guys for watching make sure you like comment and subscribe and let me know down below what you want to know um what videos you want to see and all of that and i can't wait to see you guys on my next video peace